How's it going everyone? Got quite a few PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 game updates to go over in this video, some big ones as well. Nintendo Switch exclusive, former Nintendo Switch exclusive, a game that came to PC, now coming to PS4 and PS5. Thrilling hunts await when Monster Hunter Rise hits PS4 and PS5 on January 20th. So man, they're not letting up on that early 2023 period. We'll talk all about that. Disney Speedstorm, after its delay, has gotten a brand new trailer. Amnesia the Bunker has been announced for PS4, and we have an update on Digimon Survive, doing fairly well from a commercial standpoint. More on that at the end of this video. But thrilling hunts await when Monster Hunter Rise hits PS5 and PS4 on January the 20th. Now, there is a PlayStation blog post coming from Joseph Bustos, social media and community manager over over at Capcom. Noting heads up, uh, Hunters, Monster Hunter Rise is coming to PS5 and PS4 on January the 20th. It's been a little over two years since the release of the final update for Monster Hunter World Iceborne, so we're thrilled to welcome PlayStation players to Kamura Village and back to the hunt. Monster Hunter Rise infuses the hunting experience you might be familiar with from Monster Hunter World and Iceborne with new acrobatic maneuvers enabled by the endemic life known as wirebugs leap into the air, scale cliffs, and quickly traverse open environments with ease. Wirebugs allowed for varied and unique special attacks for each of the 14 weapons in the game, even if you you've mastered a certain weapon in the past, these new abilities bring new skills to incorporate into your toolkit. Of course, you can play the game cooperatively, challenge yourself to slay a monster solo, or go online and team up with up to three others for cooperative hunting fun, communicate with other hunters in your lobby via in-game voice chat, and enjoy the thrill of the hunt with friends or with other players online. Gather together in a lobby as you prepare for a hunt or help out players on certain quests by responding to a join request. Players on either PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 also don't need to be on the same platform to play together. Become immersed in the hunt with PS5 hunters on the PS5. Have a few extra options to make for an even greater hunting experience experience, Rise on the PS5 will launch with two performance options, both of which offer silky smooth gameplay and high resolution image quality, 4K resolution up to 60 frames per second, or you can go 1080p resolution with up to 120 frames per second with compatible screens. Of course, you do have to have a 120Hz screen, so bear that in mind. There were a lot of the uh, LG TVs, the OLED TVs that I do know people picked up. They came in 60Hz and the higher Hertz. I think it was 120Hz uh, model, so uh, keep that in mind if you do want to play games at 120 frames per second. With 3D audio on PS5, get immersed in the experience even further with spatial sound that adds depth and makes you feel like you're right there in the hunt. Monster Hunter Rise takes advantage of the PS5's dual sense controllers, adaptive triggers for adaptive feedback and resistance with gunner weapons, and a slight but impactful kick when blocking uh, with a shield. And then hundreds of hours with more to come. Monster Hunter Rise comes already loaded with a treasure trove of content, including title updates and event quests for the base version of the game up to version 10.0. But on top of that, Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak will be coming in the spring by, uh, yeah, by spring of 2023. So that's going to add a sizable amount of content to the game as well. So... Obviously, Monster Hunter's always been a game that's a bit time-consuming, so if you're planning on picking up some of those other games coming out in January and February, aye, 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 Monster Hunter is gonna be another one that is gonna really take up hours out of your day, so bear that in mind as well, but that'll be coming January the 20th. I think that's a few days before for- I think Monster Hunter Rise, so January 20th is Rise, 24th is Forspoken, and Dead Space Remake is 27th. That's off the top of my head, but I believe those are the right dates. Nonetheless, be on the lookout for that. All right, moving on from that. After its delay, Disney Speedstorm has gotten a brand new CGI trailer showcasing some of the elements of the game, more from a, you know, character standpoint. And I'm sure that these are some of the tracks that you're going to see throughout the game as well. Flashy trailer, uh, all in all. Of course, the game was scheduled for a release in 2022. Unfortunately, seeing a slight delay into 2023. I don't think people were too surprised about that based on the fact that, you know, we're already in December and uh, without a release date announced. Makes sense that the game would be uh, delayed, but I think there's a lot of potential in Disney Speedstorm being a free-to-play game that really, really pops off. Now, uh, in the case of these Disney titles, they are going to inherently have a vested interest just because you've got iconic characters, you've got iconic, you know, set pieces and whatnot. But ultimately, they do need to be uh, fundamentally quality games. So hopefully, Game Love can deliver something of high quality with Disney Speedstorm. When it finally does drop in 2023, it'll be running the gamut of platforms. PlayStation 5, Xbox Series, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC. All right, moving on from that, here's another major announcement coming from Frictional Games. Add another game to the early 2023 calendar. 
Amnesia The Bunker has been announced for Xbox Series, PS4, Xbox One, and PC. No PS5 announcements, which is interesting. I find that to be rather surprising. Maybe it'll be a Game Pass title. Maybe they have a partnership with Xbox. I don't know. Amnesia The Bunker is the latest install, uh, installation in the Amnesia franchise and a pivotal point in the beloved horror series. For the first time, players are equipped with high levels of freedom to impact gameplay, choosing their playstyle as they explore this semi-open world with hardly any scripted events and constant tension brought about by an ever-present threat. It is up to each player to finesse their approach to survival. Unlike previous Amnesia games, Amnesia the Bunker will feature a new kind of horror survival adventure that incorporates emergent gameplay and sandbox elements into the mix. Players will be in total control of their moment-to-moment -moment decisions armed with a revolver gun and a noisy dynamo flashlight. Players will walk the course of an ill-lighted World War I bunker on the shoes of a French soldier troubled by his amnesia and hunted by an otherworldly creature. Amnesia the Bunker will test players' cleverness, courage, and ability to keep cool under pressure to make quick problem-solving decisions. There are multiple available solutions to each task, puzzle, and approach to the game's obstacles. It's up to you to decide your moves. The tenebrous dark corridors and tunnels are perhaps the last of threats uh, stalking your every move. When everyone is dead, rations are running low, and only one bullet is left in the gun barrel, it is up to you to face the oppressing terrors of the bunker and make your way out alive. The game notes player choice, unscripted environment, adaptive horde threats, tactile immersion, absorbing yet terrifying tale, and engrossing atmosphere and tension. Now, Amnesia is a very iconic horror franchise. Uh, the Dark Descent, that was the one that was really, really well received. Uh, since then, they haven't been as good, and in my opinion, Frictional's best outing has been Soma. I thought Soma was a tremendous game. Let's hope that Amnesia the Bunker turns out pretty well. Again, this will be coming in March 2023. And lastly, I do want to know, Digimon Survive? We have an update on that, as it has been confirmed by publisher Bandai Namco and developer Hyde that it has surpassed 500,000 copies sold worldwide. Now, maybe you look at that number and you're like, uh, that's not that impressive, but for a game of the scale of Digimon Survive, bear in mind it's a visual novel, it's more of a niche game, uh, that's a very successful number. Like, these Digimon games, by the looks of it, have been doing very well commercially for the scale that these are being released in. They're never gonna do the numbers that Pokemon is doing, it's just, that's what it is. Digimon, and especially this game, targeted a different audience, but um, 500,000 is still a really good number, especially because the investment that it requires to develop a game like this isn't as big as, let's say, you know, your big budget titles, especially because, um, you know, it's a visual novel style game. It doesn't take as much undergoing as a AAA big budget title, so 500,000 copies, and they're going to perpetually sell more copies, especially as the game gets more and more discounted. I would be very happy with a number like that, uh, especially with a game that a lot of people saw as a visual novel, and it wasn't the Digimon style of game that they wanted, but nice to see that it still did fairly well. I enjoyed the game. I liked a darker tone, a Digimon game, even if, you know, the latter portion of the game, it was kind of anticlimactic, but Nonetheless, overall, I enjoyed it. I know more people, I know a lot of people did want more gameplay style sections to the game, but we were told it was going to be mostly a visual novel and the gameplay was just kind of there to break up those sections. But uh, nonetheless, I would say if you find it at a discount, check it out, especially if you're a Digimon fan. Digimon was one of those anime that I am incredibly nostalgic with and I grew up with it. I uh, grew up with Pokemon as well, but Digimon was the one that I really gravitated towards more so. So obviously, I'm going to be all on board with games like this, but uh, nonetheless, nice to see that as well. And that's going to do it for me. Again, Monster Rise adding to that stack slate of early 2023 games as it drops on January 20th on PS4 and PS5. Disney Speedstorm coming 2023 gets a brand new CGI trailer. Amnesia the Bunker will be coming in March for PS4 and Digimon Survive cracks 500,000 copies sold. That'll do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.